Yes, hello, welcome to the channel everybody, it's Chris here from MOD Extra, it's another action figure unboxing today, and in this video we're going to take a look at Hasbro's G.I. Joe classified range, specifically the Cobra Commander. Cobra! Yes, it's true, folks, that after becoming so enamoured with Zartan, who's just over my shoulder there that I picked up a couple of weeks ago, I have gone away and bought myself another G.I. Joe classified figure, uh, the Cobra Commander. Now, the thing with Zartan, what's interesting about this, I suppose, is that the thing with Zartan was that I was particularly enamoured by the nostalgia factor that it generated in me. I said in the video when I unboxed it that the Zartan reminded me very much of the, the Zartan I owned in the 80s as, I was, as from when I was a kid. Uh, it was very comic book accurate and later I discovered was cartoon accurate as well. Um, and so it just kind of spoke to me, you know, reminiscing of those days of playing with my G.I. Joes or, as it was at the time, Action Force for me when I was a kid. Whereas this Cobra Commander doesn't, doesn't speak to the nostalgia factor quite as much because the little figure that I owned in the 80s had uh, a much less kind of decorative uniform and had the, uh, like, handkerchief mask thing over his head instead of the helmet, um, which is, kind of speaks much more to the cartoon look of him, I suppose. However... I was that pleased with the figure, the Zartan figure, and you know everything about it really, the articulation, the detail, the quality of it, uh, and some of the stuff I was able to do, taking some photographs and playing with it with my son, that I thought, nah, do you know what, I'm less bothered about the fact that this Cobra Commander speaks to me from the nostalgia point of view. Uh, I'm just kind of happy to have another villain to keep Zartan company. Uh, especially because some of the other villains that I've got my eye on, like the Viper and the Major Blood, just over here in the UK, are really difficult to get your hands on. Stock is low, you have to be really quick on the click with specialist stores, or you're going to eBay and you're paying inflated scalper prices. So um, I jumped in and went, you know, if I'm going to make a little Cobra collection, then I've got to have a Cobra Commander, and Nostalgia Factor is still there, really, because I'm playing with my G.I. Joes. It still takes me back to those childhood days, those halcyon days at my mum and dad's house and in my mum and dad's garden, um, playing with my Joes and Cobra figures. So, um, yeah, there we go. So that's my little intro. It's certainly from the view through the box window, looking like it's a good choice. Let's jump on over to the overhead camera, open it up, and, let's, and then take a closer look at the figure, shall we? You there! You are watching a video by an incompetent idiot! A content creator who cannot use his OBS correctly and has failed to record the unboxing footage. Do not like! Do not subscribe! For he is a fool! Yes, it is true. Guilty as charged. I did indeed film the unboxing section of this video with the wrong camera active in OBS and therefore it was with a webcam and it was all grainy and out of focus and dark and basically unusable. So apologies for that if you were keen to see the packaging get <laughs> unboxed. However, here he is. Let's not let that stop us. Here he is in hand. It's a few days later. I've been having to play around with him. I've been posing him. I've been taking photos with him. I've handed him over to my son to put him through his paces. And I have to admit at this point that the look of the figure hasn't kind of struck the nostalgia nerve as much as Zartan did. You know, Zartan was really kicking these nostalgic reminiscence off in my mind and in my heart, whereas this Cobra Commander hasn't. And it's the aesthetic. He doesn't look like the Cobra Commander figure I owned as a child, nor does he really fully remind me of the Cobra Commander that I read in the old Marvel UK Action Force comic books. So... You know, that, that whole man-child thing where I'm looking to play with my toys as escapism and to remain in a state of arrested development and forget about my worries and escape the realities of this brutal world um, has not been there. However, all of that said, Cobra Commander has definitely won me over and there's lots to like about the figure that I've been really excited about having had him for a few days. Uh, so let me talk a few, you through a few of the bits that got me excited about Cobra Commander rather than the bits that didn't get me excited about Cobra Commander. So bringing him a little bit closer then so that I can point out a few things that really got my juices going. Uh, the first here, just the texture and the detail on his tunic, on his uh, sword belt and his baldric there, the shoulder pad up the top corner here. 
the helmet, the, the shiny faceplate, all this stuff just really leaps out at me and got me very excited. Just, just, just got a real uh, eye for detail, these guys at Hasbro working on the G.I. Joe classified figures. Uh, I particularly love, I don't know if it's intentional or not, maybe it's just my mind interpreting it, but the, uh, the sort of snake eye vibe of the buttons down the front of the tunic there um, just really... I don't know, is that me? Was that intentional? Is it supposed to look like Snake Eyes? I don't know if it is or not, but that's how I've interpreted it in my mind, and that, that really works for me. Uh, also loving the Cobra symbol on the front of the tunic, the little chain. If I spin him around a little bit, you can see that the Cobra symbol is also there on his kind of armoured bracelets. You can also see the cool-looking uh, cape sort of draped across his shoulder at the back there, just really adding to this kind of uh, regal, ceremonial kind of dress uniform vibe. And of course, the sword adds to that as well, which in its own right is wonderful. I love the little cobra-headed hilt um, on, the, on the sword there. Uh, one criticism of the sword, although I'll talk about it a bit more when I talk accessories, is that I can't figure out how to put it in his hand. I don't know what's going on there, but I can't figure out how to put it in his hand. I would have loved to have been able to have him hold the pistol and hold the sword at the same time. Uh, and I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look back over promotional photos, but I can't seem to figure it out. I'm probably just being dense. And then uh, just those extra little bits of detail, like the, the colour on the blue tunic, then the kind of textured detail on the shoulders and down the side here, and along the uh, dress line, if I lift him up a bit, along the dress line of the pants uh, and on his sword scabbard uh, and then he's got these kind of uh, textured pointy shoes here really awesome although they do remind me of those kind of fashionable pointy shoes that I see all the townies putting on before they go and uh, paint the town red on a Friday night I don't, that might be a uniquely <laughs> British thing I don't know um, so despite the fact that it's not making me go, oh, wow, you know, that's a classic G.I. Joe Cobra Commander look, um, he's definitely won me over with those little bits of attention to detail and those little nice touches that really give the character much more shelf presence and give him a great kind of vibe. As far as posing him and playing around with him, uh, either to use as a shelf piece or if, if, like me, you like to mess around and take daft photos with them, uh, he is fairly articulated, fairly well articulated. He's proven to be very stiff in the joints out the box, um, I've found. So as I've been trying to pose him, he's been a little bit of awkward. However, he's got some great points of articulation. You know, the head, lots of movement in the head, no, no sort of barriers to looking up, looking down to the sides, and so on and so forth. The arms as well, loads of points of articulation there. Got some good movement in the shoulder. You've got the top of the arm. He's got the elbow. This is one of the stiffer joints, the uh, double elbow there. Um, oh, hmm, hmm, uh, um, and then the hands have got the little joint in here so that you can do some sort of forward and back with the hands, although the way the armor plate comes across the front here does restrict how far backwards you can move the wrist there. Uh, there's the ab crunch in the middle here, although that is a little bit restricted and not so great with the, um, you know, with the plastic, the baldric and the belt there. Um, but there's a little bit of movement here, uh, and then he's got some a little tiny bit of hip movement. The legs have confounded me a little bit. He's got top of the thigh, he's got knee. But the top of his boot is also a movement point as well. There's a swivel on the top of the boot here, which is right under the knee just there. Uh, so it's uh, when I've been posing him, I'd, I've been finding myself getting him in these kind of weird, un inhumanly unnatural positions um, because of the way... <laughs> you know what I mean? Because of the way the, the boot turn is so high up. Um, so I don't know if that's me, but also the fact that it's been a bit stiff out the box. Also, the way the tunic drapes across the front here has made it difficult to bring the legs out uh, for some of the more kind of action orientated shots that I was trying to take the other day. I, was, I had embossing Zartan around in some photos that I was taking. Um, also, a bit fiddly to get stood up. That's par for the course with these figures nowadays, I feel. Uh, and then in the ankles here, we've got quite a lot of movement in the ankles. Um, so the foot, you can sort of see autofocus. There you go. You can see sort of moving the foot around there. And then you've got up and down in the ankle as well. But it just kind of gets a little... You have, he's a bit fiddly. You know, if you're, if you're looking to take photos or pose him up, uh, you know, doing like Gangnam Style and things, then 
it could be a bit fiddly, but I suppose I'd rather have the articulation and fiddle to get it into a position that I enjoy and want to take a photo with or have him stood on my shelf as um, than not have it there at all. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. Let's take a look at the uh, extra bits and bobs, the accessories that came with him. Okay, so here we go then. I've changed out his hands and lined him up with the additional accessories that come with him. So you can see here he's got a pistol shooting hand and he has this ornate kind of uh, dueling style pistol thing with the, this sort of snake motif. You can see the snake head on the bottom there and this kind of snake carving down the side. Looks great and then he's got a pistol hand to hold it. It was a bit of a struggle getting the pistol in and out of the hand but certainly no worse than I've encountered with some other uh, action figures and then with that um, extra movement in the wrists you can do some fun stuff you know with that uh, his other hand here is a clenched fist let's get the focus on the clenched fist there we go uh, is the clenched fist that's the other hand so you can do like you know why I are cobra uh, and then we have the sword if I take that out of the scabbard there uh, you can see the sword here you've got the kind of silvery blade at the front at the top sorry and then you've got this great little snake motif on the hilt there with the added little kind of punch blade in the middle here uh, so really lovely sword that fits nicely into his scabbard with very little effort and looks really great in the final figures you know look and feel uh, so the accessories are fantastic they open up you know lots of options for how you might want to pose him uh, put him standing the only kind of criticism i have is that the point uh, i think i've already mentioned this i this hand here the open palmed hand i can't figure out how to get it to grip the sword i don't think it is designed to grip the sword which leads me to conclude that if you take the pistol out the sword must also go in this hand it would you know naturally figure because he's got it on the you know on the left hand side of his body so the sword must go into his right hand which kind of means then you can't have him holding the sword and the pistol at the same time and in fact the sword is a right nightmare to get into there that, that's going to take a bit of effort that to get it around his thumb maybe if i try from no okay want to want to make an effort of out off camera and don't end up snapping a thumb while i'm filming uh, but yeah, I've uh, found it a, a bit of a disappointment that I can't sort of have him brandishing his sword and holding the pistol at the same time. But I suppose if he's, you know, if he has a preference for his right hand and that's all he uses in combat, then so be it. You know what I mean? He's the Cobra Commander. He can do what he likes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there you go. There's the accessories. A small but meaningful collection uh, of items that you can use to really bring your Cobra Commander to life well as i'm sure you've probably gathered by this point in the video i am very happy with my cobra commander despite those reservations i had about the more modern look and feel he's been a lot of fun to play around with and i've enjoyed owning the figure i've been posing him up doing stuff with my zartan they've been ballroom dancing as a matter of fact which i'm sure as you folks well know back at cobra base on cobra island that's how they like to stay fit uh, stay prepared helps them work on their discipline their upper body strength uh, their reflexes, you know, it's, it's very good, uh, is ballroom dancing for, uh, you know, international terrorist organisations uh, and should be encouraged by all. Uh, are you listening, Spectre? Uh, but yeah, super fun figure, really happy. Can't wait to get my hands now on even more villainous characters uh, from the G.I. Joe range. So he has got more of a force to command on my shelf. Uh, but yeah, big thumbs up. Definitely, definitely would recommend the Cobra Commander figure to anyone who's got their eye on it. Uh, so please folks if you enjoy these videos if you like what I'm doing then take the time to give us a thumbs up down below it takes a moment for you but it's it means so much to me and it helps me kind of grow the channel and develop more interest from more new viewers and of course if you're not already subscribed please do hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my reviews we've got a lot of action figure toy statue stuff coming down the pipeline as well as some more board game stuff as well if you like that side of the games and collectibles thing we've got going on around here at Mod Extra uh, but in the meantime i've been chris i'm from mod extra and i'll see you hopefully around here again soon thanks for watching congratulations mr six on making such an excellent choice of action figure